What's up guys? So we have our last episode here in the unboxing. The box is gone. We've opened up all 31 packs. Now we got five left. So we made an error in judgment. We were trying to do six A video series showing off all these beautiful cards by Square Enix. But we uh, again opened seven in one of the videos. So it was not it was not proper. We got five left over here. We got six legendaries though. And every pack has a foil variation of one card. It could be any card. It could be a legendary card. It could be a rare card. It could be a common card. Ooh, Cecil. It's only a heroic. So we are looking for our legendary. And we are told that you're supposed to get seven legendaries in a box. That's the number. So let's see if it's correct. We've gotten to six so far. So if you want to see all of the legendaries that we've gotten... Look back in the last couple videos, watch those unboxing, check out the cards there. Very, very cool. We picked up a lot of this card. This card looks so cool. Warrior of Light. We even got a foil variation of this one. Oh, we got the same card there. Foil variation of it. Oh, Yuna. Heroic Yuna, so not a legendary, but a cool card nonetheless. We are still learning the game as well, so we don't know what cards are great, amazing. We just know what sells on eBay, pretty much. We've been looking at eBay, seeing uh, card values, and, and just in awe, and shock and awe of how valuable some of these cards are. Cloud seems to be the most expensive card in the, the set right now, with a foil Cloud Legendary selling for uh, $70 on eBay. That is insane. A box is supposed to retail for about $140. So one Cloud Legendary. Wow. Kate Sith. Look at this. This is really, really cool foil card. Almost like a 3D card. Not a Legendary, but it's just still... I love how that you can get any card as a foil variation. And we have Titus, and this is a Legendary Woo, we got a legendary. So we are at seven. Can we get more than seven? Is it possible? That is the question that I am wondering. We have a couple boxes to open up. So we're going to be opening more packs later on in the channel here. Keep it locked here if you want to see more Final Fantasy OPS cards, unboxing, deck building, strategy, tips, tricks, all that good stuff for this game. As more people get the cards, there will definitely be a, a meta that evolves. Like what cards are really good, what cards are really bad. What cards you really want so we're seeing right now that some rare cards are actually selling for four to five dollars each which means they're either massive collectors that really need that one rare card or that rare card is actually really really good and so this is a foil legendary this does not count as your basic legendary but any card can be a foil so this is crazy cool good good value there for this pack opening it up and let's see if we can get another legendary here. Oh, we got Titus again. But that is not a legendary this time. This is actually just a rare Titus. You can see it looks very similar to the legendary Titus that we just got. Very, very similar, but the attack power is different. The cost is the same. You'll notice the, the numbers in the bottom of the card tells you what the card number is. And then it has an L for legendary or an R for rare or an H for heroic. So that's how you know what a card is. There's multiple Tituses in the, the box. Different variations. And we have X-Death there. Last pack. Let's see. Can we get one more Legendary out of here? And we can see the foil card. Just a little baby common card. And I, I love all these black backgrounds. Bart's. And no, this is a heroic back there. Orlando. -er. All right. That is cool. That is it. That is one box. We've got seven legendaries. So maybe, maybe it is true that you always get seven legendaries in a box. The foils, once again, do not count in that card count total. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.